actually had a few showers around the area. We've got one going just to the north of the city, uh, maybe affecting those of you uh, on the way to Cuero. So if you're up along 87, now notice there we have this area of low pressure that uh, kind of knocked down the big dome. Okay, remember the heat dome it was going to give us the blazing heat over the weekend. It didn't really quite materialize and actually dropped south. And you can see how the line is right here. Below this, there's not going to be any rain. Above this, we do get uh, some shower activity up there and a couple of thunderstorms that rolled through deep south Texas overnight. Uh, they got some heavy rain in the San Antonio I-37 corridor. Uh, this afternoon, more popped up. You can see the activity right about there, just about to get into Victoria. So if you hear rain within the next 10 minutes, uh, you're you're doing good. You're lucky. We'll, we'll get a little bit of cloud cover and some cooling out of that. And then we have a few isolated showers down south of us as well. This is going to be with us for about two, three days. Actually, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then on Thursday, it sort of ends as we get closer to the weekend. But it's the only way to, you know, get a brief respite from the incredible heat. Uh, we'll be at 94, 95. Our average high this time of year is about 92. But as we get to the weekend, we'll get back up, or we should get into the upper 90s as uh, the atmosphere dries up a little bit. And then we got to watch the Gulf. Yes, I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Here are the forecast highs for tomorrow with the additional uh, chance of, you know, 30% that we may get additional showers. It's about 94, 98 San Antonio, 90 in the Houston area. Of course, it's warm and muggy here, much drier out in western areas. So here's what I'm uh, excited about in the Gulf. Now, what we have here in Central America, this big old yellow area, is called a Central American gyre. And what it does is basically a big uh, boiling cauldron of tropical activity. All we need is for a couple of things to come together to actually pick some of this stuff up and make it into a tropical depression. Okay, I'm not saying that yet, okay, but the this moisture and this big blob is going to be drifting north into the Gulf probably by the end of the week, more likely Sunday, Monday. And let's just say the following, whether it forms into something or not doesn't matter. It's going to be a big surge of tropical moisture that rolls up into the Gulf and will produce heavy rains for Florida, all the way to Louisiana, possibly into our area. Let's just say that it's ripe and ready to go. We're going to be watching it very carefully. Of course, the water temperatures are pretty amazing. We're looking 87 in the mid Gulf, 86 down there and 85 here. This is, uh, shall we say, August like temperatures that we're getting in our water this early in June. So for tomorrow, we uh, continue with a partly cloudy, warm and the humid stuff with a 20, 30 percent chance of an isolated shower, most likely in the inland areas rather than along the immediate coast. But in Fraquero, we see it'll be in that uh, three or four o'clock time period where they pop up with the afternoon heat. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Otherwise, yes, it's hot and it's steamy and our best chance will be uh, today, uh, tomorrow and Wednesday, then decreasing on Thursday. And as we get into next weekend, just plain old sunny, hot and dry. We will certainly be watching everything for you right here. And that's our seven day forecast, reminding everybody that we do have a QR code. We'd love for you to scan that, put Crossroads today 